this is quantum scape on the daily chart and since this surge back in early January in which quantum scape demonstrated that their technology exceeded capacity standards uh, price has not only given back the entire move up uh, but since then has been range bound now they recently announced their earnings and um, for the bag holders of QuantumScape, good news in that price did not sell off. Um, so that's encouraging. Now, price is sitting above this weekly buyers level. Also, price is sitting above this W pattern, this double bottom. And price is respecting and has respected this little resistance support level at the roughly six dollars and twenty five cents now before we look at where price might be heading next let's just go get some clues from this article from investing.com so quantumscape corporations a pioneer in the development of solid state lithium battery Metal batteries reported fourth quarter earnings miss with an adjusted EPS of a negative 23 cents, which was below the analyst expectations of 19 cents. So good news in that price did not sell off on the news because the results were less than stellar than Walsh was looking for. The company's focus for the upcoming year includes capital expenditures projected to be between 70 and 120 million aimed at supporting the production of this QSE5 prototype batteries and the advancement of the COBRA process in preparation for increased production volumes in 2025. In a recent development, QuantumScape's long-standing partner Volkswagen validated the performance of the AO prototype cell. PowerCo CEO Frank Blom expressed confidence in the solid-state cell technology, highlighting its potential for long range, fast charging, and durable battery cells. The best performing cell achieved over 1,000 cycles with an over 95% capacity retention, Bloom stated, underscoring the progress towards series production with QuantumScape. Now, QuantumScape made some news weeks ago when uh, Volkswagen signed a deal with a competitor and that kind of spooked uh, Wall Street. However, Again, kind of going back to the daily chart, price is holding um, relatively steady despite the continued bad news. Now, what also is encouraging is that right now you have all the moving averages converging, which tells me that a breakout is inevitable at some point. Now, let's see if we can draw a trend line as you can see price has been respecting this trend line that had origins going back to November so if price holds which I'm not too sure it's gonna hold you'll still be backed by this weekly bias level and if price moves higher if it does respect this uptrend line. I look for price to eventually get to this support resistance band at $13. That may take some while. That may take some months. That may take until the end of the year, but that is the next major level where you have significant liquidity that's going to determine whether price gets rejected or whether you eventually get a breakout and head higher. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.